Hi, we're back. This is Right Where You Are. This is your host, Rita Boston. We're still in Atlanta, and I have the awesome privilege of being here with Dr. Neil Schumann. He is a doctor um, and a professor at Emory University here in Atlanta. He's going to share some more information with us. Thank you, Jeffries Jackson, for tuning in. Please take a moment to, um, to share this and to invite others to come on. I would love if you would invite um, some people to come on. Um, again, we are... Okay. I'm, I'm going to turn this over to you. Try to turn this around. Okay, here we go. Okay. Welcome again. We had, we had to drop off for a moment. Can you share with us, you say you wrote a book, um, and Michael J. Fox uh, played that part, and you turned it into a movie? Yeah. Uh, it was called Doc Hollywood, and Michael J. Fox started it. And he was on his way out west to be a bridge plastic surgeon, uh -huh. and his car breaks out in a small southern town and ends up being a country doctor. And uh, they're working on making it a Broadway musical now. Okay. Warner Brothers is. And uh, we uh, were involved in that. And then we're also involved in an effort now to connect humanitarians around the world. Because they're good people in all countries, yes. all races, all religions. Yes. And if we unite humanitarians, we might have a whole different planet. Naomi King, Martin Luther King's sister-in-law, was involved in it. Uh, they've had it at Emory University, one of these summits. Georgia Tech students are taking it global with a website to unite humanitarians. Somebody from the Center for Disease Control is also creating a nonprofit to take it globally. Mm -hmm. And anybody can go to Humanitarians Unite. That's yes. what we want to do. Humanitarians Unite. And if we can do that, yes, sir. then we'll be proud to make this planet a better planet. Yes, sir. Because they're good people in every race, religion. We just got to unite them. Then the $1.7 trillion a year going to war would go to, to people. Get, to people to help them. So every kid has food and shelter. Well, speaking of that, sir, you were saying that there's an event that is happening, and that event is going to be taking place this weekend to help the families of the people who were killed in Las Vegas. Can you speak on that as well? Yes. It's at the North DeKalb Mall in Atlanta. Can you look in the camera and speak the just a little? The North DeKalb Mall in Atlanta, Georgia. North DeKalb Mall this Saturday. And it's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. And it's at the Gas Art Gifts Store. Okay. Gas, G-A-S. Okay. Art, A-R-T. Uh -huh. Gifts, G-I-F-T-S. Store. Okay. In so North the Cab Mall. North the Cab Mall, this coming Saturday, um, Gags Art. The Gas. Gas, G-A-S. Art. Art, A R T, yeah. gifts. And that's this Saturday, 11 to 2. Right. And, and, and my uh, 11 year old son uh -huh. and his 95 year old girlfriend <laughs> who wrote the book are okay. going to be signing it that they want the proceeds from it to go help those families. And what's the name of that book so they can know to buy the right book? Oh, yeah. It's Animals. I'm animals. sorry. I'm sorry. It's humans and animals. Yes. And you can go to a website www.humansandanimals.org. Okay. And it's for animals are teaching humans how to be good people. Right. Because animals don't fight. Just over hit that in close. Yes, sir. They don't fight over what color their skin is. Mm -hmm. They share much more than we do. And we have to learn from animals how to be 
good people. Right. Uh, you don't have one giraffe out of 10,000 acres of land and another baby giraffe that's starving. So we got to learn as humanitarians, when we have an abundance, not to have all of our abundance and sit around and watch other people be destitute. Exactly. And it's, you're a humanitarian, but it's www.humansandanimals.org. Okay. Uh, and uh, the book signing, as I say, will be this Saturday. Mm -hmm. But if we can unite humanitarians, Mm -hmm. We'll be on a completely different planet. Yes. And if this goes viral, mm -hmm. and other people at churches, mm -hmm. synagogues, and temples, yes, sir. they unite humanitarians and get good people together. If they do it at every elementary school, they wow. do it at junior high school, high school, you just get people to share the good things they're doing. So nobody goes homeless. No child dies because they don't have clean water. Yes, sir. And that's what it's all about. Can I ask you this while I have you before sure. we get off? I don't want to keep on too long. But also, you mentioned that you had developed something for high blood pressure while working at Emory University here in Atlanta. Can you share a little bit about that with us? Yeah, actually, uh, there are a number of things we've worked on. Problem of high blood pressure. We did a book, and Arthur Ashe did a video based on wow. about uh, high blood pressure in the black population. Yes, sir. Because it's much more serious. But there's a free website of another book okay. called www.letsplaydoctor.org. Okay. And that teaches you everything a doctor does when they're examining. And then we got 150 doctors and nurses together, and they wrote a book called Symptoms That Are Life-Threatening, so you know when to go to the emergency room. Like if you have a headache and fever, and you can't put your chin on your chest, yeah. that can be meningitis, where your brain is in a sack and it's infected, and you could die like that. Yes, sir. And if you go to the emergency room, get medication and kill those germs, you'll be fine. Now the book is free as a free app. Wow. And all you have to do is go to Red Light Warning Signals. Red Light Warning Signals. And if we could get people all over the world to know that, we're even trying to get it in other languages. We have undergraduate students working on getting it in languages so people all over the world mm -hmm. can be empowered. And know the important things that are health oriented. Yes, sir. Well, you know, it has been a privilege to, to even meet you today, Dr. Schulman, and I am honored that you gave me the opportunity to just have this moment on right where we, you are with you, right where we are. And uh, that's good information that you gave, and um, people should go out. Hope you'll get to see your movie. Hope they'll go online to that book. But also, we want you to make sure that this Saturday, you go to North DeKalb Mall. Saturday from 11 to 2, the Gas Art.